Welcome back to the channel, everyone. It's I, the Reluctant Gringo, back again with another video. And today we're going to talk about what well, we're really going to follow up on Skull and Bones. So, yep, my PS5. I've been playing it through and through for a great many hours. And I just wanted to follow up because, early, you know, I did buy, I did do a, a review of the beta and I loved it. And I told you I was going to buy the game and I'm a man of my word and I bought the game. And uh, lately I've been looking at some reviews online, especially YouTube. And there's a lot of negative reviews over Skull and Bones. And, and I needed to react to those as well as give my own follow-up review because, you know, again, I, I'm pretty deep into the game right now. I guess my criticism of, of, of anything is the criticism of some of the reviews. You know, when I watch a review and I listen to a review, I want to hear a review about what something is and not what something isn't. And I think most of the reviews that I've been seeing on this game are a little disingenuous to me because they talk about comparing to other games, which is fair, I get that. But really it's in it's in accordance to what this game, Skull and Bones, doesn't do as opposed to what they might have been wanting or expecting. Skull and Bones never, never was never going to be a, uh, a 1v1 or a, never going to be a shooter or was never going to be something like that. It was always going to be this pirate game where you sail around and you plunder ships. A lot of the criticism I, I've been seeing is, well, you have to do this and you have to do that. And you get this contract, you go back. Listen, all these criticisms that I hear, it's like, okay, well, I've played the Grand Theft Auto games. I've played DC Universe Online. I've played Elder Scrolls. And, and that's what these open world games are all about. And most open world games are you start out, you start grinding to build up your character, to build up whatever it is that you're building up. And you keep getting contracts and the, and the worlds keep opening up. So I'm at the point where I've got so much to do that I, I have to pick and choose. Like, okay, what am I, am I going to focus on smuggling today? Am I going to focus on bounties today? Am I going to focus on the narrative? Am I going to focus on just being open world and just doing whatever i want do i want to focus on the pvp aspect of getting the loot and and doing that you know what is it that i want to focus on do i focus on going to the islands and interacting with the natives and getting their contracts do i want to get the contracts from the pirates there's just so much to the point where i'm like okay well today i'm going to just do this because if i try to do everything i'd be all over the place so there's a lot to do as far as i can now this is me again i've played this game uh since you know it, it launched at midnight uh, on the 16th and I've been playing it through and I've been building up my ships, building up my character, building, you know, customizing, uh, building up my infamy. And I've been having a blast playing this game. So I know there's a lot of negative criticism out there. I understand it. People are looking for, you know, they say, well, it's not like Black Flag. When you board a ship, you know, Black Flag, you got to jump on the ship and stab people and shoot. Well, that's this game never advertised that. This game never said we're going to be like that. And I'm glad. If this game was exactly like Black Flag, I'd be like, well, that's a ripoff because why wouldn't I just go get Black Flag? Uh, so some of the psychology and mentality of some of these reviews, I'm like, okay, if you want that game, go get that game. This game was never advertised to be just like that game. It was advertised to have certain aspects in it. Um, I think the, the company Ubisoft, I think everything that I've read about it, they've been upfront about it. They've been honest about it. It's To me, it came as advertised. Again, if I'm missing something, let me know in the comment section below. But to me, it reminds me of driving around Grand Theft Auto when I first played Vice City uh, Grand Theft and, and, and in San Andreas. You, you drive around, you do missions, you beat up people, you take their shit. That's what I'm doing. So I'm doing it on a boat. <laughs> so it's not as graphic. It's not as violent. But it's the same concept. Elder Scrolls, when I played that, I had to go someplace, get a mission from somebody, go off and, and get on a horse, hopefully, to get there faster, to get to this castle or this fort or this area take out this person or do this and then go back and say, I did it. Here, where's my reward? So the criticism of this game, it's, it's an open world. It follows the blueprint of every other successful open world as far as missions and contracts and things like that. So again, where's the criticism coming from? I'm not really, again, it just feels disingenuous. It's like, we're going to hate on this game. Maybe it's leftover hate from the suicide squad. Maybe the suicide squad game made us hate gaming so much that we just are going to hate everything that comes out. Maybe that's just the, I don't know. That's the only thing I can think of. But again, I mean, I have some criticism. I mean, yeah, some of the NPCs, they look PS4-ish, you know, and I'm on a PS5. They look a little clunky. Yeah, they could have done a better job with that. I, I get it with all the money and the time invested in the, in the game. Okay, fair enough. There's a couple of camera glitches here and there. Okay. If that's really going to ruin your experience, if, if a camera glitch is going to make you go, this game sucks. Okay. It, you're walking through a door. It's not affecting your gameplay. It's not affecting the storyline. Get over it. Move on. They'll fix it sooner or later. For me, the map, navigating the map and understanding the symbols on the map and where to go and how to do it and, and, and all that, because sometimes there's just so much on the map. You're like, all right, I'm a little confused. That, I think that could be, you know, a little better. Uh, I think it'd be uh, a little bit more intuitive. But overall, I, I find that 
the game looks good. I'm enjoying it. I think the mechanics of the game are good. I think the storyline is good. I think the ability to do whatever you want in the open world is great. Again, uh, my biggest positivity about this game and any game like this is that it gives the control back to the gamer. You do what you want to do, when you want to do it, how you want to do it, in your own pace. It's your game. Enjoy it. To me, again, that's just respect for a gamer and a gamer's time. And I love that because not all of us can sit there and play eight, nine hours straight. So it's great for people like me that want to just jump into the game when they have time to do a couple of things and get some things done and build their ships and continue on. I'm happy. I'm I'm satisfied. Is it a five out of five? No, it's not a five out of five. It's very hard to get a five out of five. Is it a four out of five? Yeah, I'd give it a four. I, I, I'm, it's one of those games that I'm like, I'm glad I bought. I'm glad I bought it. I gl I'm glad it's in my library. I'm glad I'm going to be able to continue to play it. I'm glad I'm going to continue to build my ships and build my crew and build my em build my naval empire. I'm really glad. And I'm really excited to see where the rest of the open world opens up into when I finally get to places like Africa and things like that. But I'm really happy and satisfied that i purchased this game am i a sponsored youtuber or whatever they go people are like oh you're a show no i'm not I'm, I'm i'm i just started out a few months ago so i i don't have sponsors i don't even get paid i don't even get monetized so i'm just telling you what i honestly think i enjoy making youtube videos and now i enjoy after the youtube videos having a few moments to go back to this game and play it i'm glad i bought it i'm glad i get to dip into it i'm glad i get to to take advantage of it a lot of hate out there for it. My advice to you is if you're thinking about buying it or you think you're interested in it or you were interested in it and some of these bad reviews turned you off is to just, you know, look at the gameplay, turn the sound off so you're not hearing anybody. Just look at the gameplay and say, does this look like fun? If it looks like fun to you, great. I think you got a game. If it doesn't, hey, being a pirate's not for everybody. I get that. You know, I enjoy the fact that you can go to the islands, you can dig up your treasure. I, I enjoy the fact that you can follow these maps to other locations and figure out other things. I enjoy the interaction, the social, the groups. I enjoy pairing up with a, or, or grouping up with a bunch of other, other players on online and having a shared goal and going after everything. It's fun. The social aspect of it, I, I found enjoyable as well. Uh, the plundering of forts, I think is just, it's a, again, another fun aspect. You get to sit there and plunder a fort, battleships incoming and, and build up your loot. I haven't been really frustrated with the game at all. I haven't had any real issues. I mean, yeah, when you hit a maelstrom or you hit a hurricane and you're sailing through it in a little boat, yeah, you're going to have to deal with that. But that's being on a ship in those times. So so that's my review. I'm Again, I'm really enjoying it. There are games out there that people love. I don't love. It's it's what it, I'm not the biggest Assassin's Creed fan in the world. I didn't love those games. Some people love them. Not every game's for everybody. I get that. But is this a good game? Yeah, it's a good game. Does it deserve all the criticism it's getting? No, I don't think so. I think it's... I'm not really sure what it is. This is a lot of anger out there. Uh, maybe it's the gaming community. I know that the gaming community can be very fickle. I know the gaming community can be very passionate. I know the gaming community can be very loud. And that's great. That's that's awesome. But in the same stance, we also have to be fair. And I think look at things from a fan. So let's review things for what they are. And instead of reviewing them for what they're not, because if we did that all the time, everything's going to suck. If we just did reviews on what things aren't, we're going to like nothing. We're going to like, no, nothing's going to be good. That's my uh, that's my follow-up review. I'm going to go back to playing the game eventually today and when I have some fun. And with that, I'm still your reluctant gringo from south of the border. Salute and I'll wave off.